Hi, I'm Gareth Stewart, Executive Chef of The Nourish Group. Today, I'm at the Culpepper, Euro's sister restaurant. I'm gonna be putting together tuna poke, which we've matched with Dashwood Pinot Gris. This wine has some apple and pear notes that will match perfectly with this tuna poke, and it actually won gold at New World Wine Awards this year. So when selecting your bit of fish, make sure you go to the fish market and ask for some help. You wanna select the center cut of yellowfin or big eye tuna, something that's quite local, and we're looking for that beautiful fleshy part of the tuna. Bags of flavor, we've got about 400 grams, which we're gonna dice into quite a large dice and keeping it as cold as possible as you can. So when you cut it, get it into the fridge and put it aside. So we're just gonna dice it up into nice chunky pieces. You can see how fresh it is and that beautiful color, not too light, not too dark. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge. So in my tuna poke, We've got radish, which we're just gonna cut into quarters. So we've got red onion and spring onion. For each one, we're just gonna slice it up, nice and fine. We've got some beautiful little baby cucumbers, which we're just gonna peel, take off the skin. So we're just topping and towel these cucumbers. Just when you're slicing cucumbers, make sure you get your fingers out of the way. And I'm just resting the knife up against my fingers. Some tomatoes, now you can use cherry tomatoes or baby tomatoes with this dish, but I like some juicy Roma tomatoes. Just chopped up, nice and rustic. So now for the dressing. Quarter of a cup of soy, some rice wine vinegar to give it a bit of sharpness. A couple of spoons of that. And again with some sesame seed oil, a couple of spoons. And just make sure you're tasting it the whole way. There should be a nice balance of salt and acidity with this one. Beautiful. One lime, just to give it some real zesty juice. Squeeze that in. Just a little bit more sesame seed oil, and we're good to mix. So we'll just get all this garnish and salad into the tuna, and we're ready to dress. Dressing in, and give it a nice toss. Just smells so fresh already, the sesame seed, the tomatoes, the cucumber. Now, we're gonna add the avocado, last because if you add avocado too soon and you mix it in it becomes quite mushy and changes the whole texture of the dish so we'll slice up these avocados and then we'll gently fold them in at the end one little toss and this is the type of dish that people will be wowing about when it goes in front of them we'll finish off with some wakame which again adds that nice little crispy texture and some sesame seed this is my tuna poke, matched with a dashwood pinot gris. This for me is the best way to eat tuna and a great offering for friends and family for lunch. That's what it's all about. World-class wines and great Kiwi food. Enjoy.